people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pase, what they do. First thing that is popping in the news, it is called breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. It is said that former reggae boy known as Javon Watson, this is his picture on the video right here. He was held with a gun in a May pen, May pen that is in Clarendon region. Now people, like me say, don't know the details. More than likely, the fact that he was escorted by the popo, it tells you that this gun might have been illegal. This gun might have been not a licensed fire piece. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at the video. However, there is music being played in the video and because of copyright reason, I cannot play the audio. So therefore it will be muted. Take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my piece. Now people, based on preliminary information, it is said that he was held with a gun and you saw the video, him being escorted in the poor poor car, that means uh, some sort of illegal activity occurred. Now people, I don't know what it is with these young youths in Jamaica. I don't know if it is the lack of opportunity. However, everybody go through the same thing. This youth, former reggae boy, that means he had some sort of athletic skills. Maybe if he had the right type of attitude, it would have led him to some sort of scholarship. He could have get him paperwork straight somewhere overseas, whether England, America, wherever. Does that matter? However, people like them say, your attitude determines your altitude. So therefore, the attitude that you have determines how far you get in life and people i am not saying that this youth did not get any sorts of opportunity however the point that i'm trying to make is that the fact that he got a highlight he got a spotlight he got a break in the business he represented his country so i am sure that he must have made some sort of money more than the average person however people it is sad to see somebody that get a break in a life as backslide this far wherein he is now turning some sort of criminal element. Now people, truth be told, don't know the specifics, don't know if somebody left the toll name car. However, people, the average person is not going to be pulled over by the popo and then find any sorts of hot toll in them car. So it tells you that directly or indirectly, he had something to do with something. Wherever there is smoke, there is fire. However, people, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, which I hardly do. However, let's see how this play out. As I said before, this is preliminary information, point blank and period. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people the next thing that is popping in the news it is called be very careful oh your gopher the deeds that you plan can always backfire the good that you do it will follow you the bad that you do it will always haunt you now i am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called mount james that is Golden Spring era. Don't quote me on this. It is said that three hitties went to a residential neighborhood for a victim. However, it seems as if the tables turn upon the hitmen. The supposed victim made an alert and it is said that the people um, put out a roadblock upon the three hitties. After the man met the alert, them tried jumping at them car and make a hasty escape. 
However, people, they were not so fortunate. One man, he is now presently hospitalized. One man, he is gone. And the third man, he was the lucky one. So people, two out of three in a bad condition. One man call himself lucky for right now. Now people, it is also said that the residents burn up the car to a crisp. So therefore it tells you that whoever they went for, he was no joke. Whoever they went for is a very serious person and that person was able to put out some sort of alert. People like me say, don't know if it is an innocent man, don't know if this is some sort of gang retaliation, gang reprisal, and the gangster, the better gangster, had the better hand, basically had the blade, or had the handle and them get the blade. They got the S-H-I-T-T-Y end of the stick. However, people, whenever you are a criminal element, Whichever way that we can get rid of you, it is always welcome, point blank and period. So anyways, people, take a little take a look to what the residents had to say as it pertains to that, and then I'll give my piece. Now people, like you heard in the video, there were obvious bystanders that did not know exactly what was going on. One man was saying it looked like a clot them clot him with some sort of farm utensil. One man I say in for B-L-E-E-D out. And one lady was saying, a D-E-A-D in for pass out because him come to take with my cousin. So people, like me say, obviously, people knew exactly what was going on. The alert was made, and Lucky and him friend them, he was the only lucky one. The others were very unfortunate. One, not as unfortunate as the next one. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called This man got caught red-handed with the tool. This man's tool was literally on C-O-C-K, no H-O-M-O. -O. Now based on this video, the popo pull over somebody, not the popo in Jamaica. However, the message is going to be the same. Apparently they had some sort of idea that this man had some sort of hot tool, so therefore them hold him at gunpoint and they demanded a search. When they were searching him, the tool was not tucked in, pan him back, pan him side, in front and belly. The normal average criminal way, no people, this tool was way down in his boxers, basically. The gun was on C-O-C-K, like I said before. However, people, I mean this literally. So, people, I am going to show you the video when they pull him over. And then I am going to show you when they took this gun from out of his crotch. Because of YouTube's policy, I cannot show you the whole thing. But I'll show you the start and the finish. So, people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. <laughs> What's your name, young blood? Come here. What's your name, man? Hold the shade off me, please. Yeah. Your real name? Yeah. Come here. Oh. Hold the shade off me. Yeah. Hold the shade off. On this cock? On this cock. Now, people, like you see, the poor poor them hold him, he was held red handed. That means uh, they told upon him, yes. That means, uh, he was going directly to jail, don't pass go, don't collect $200. However, what was most startling is that the tool is so far down in our pants, in our brief, our boxers, and the tool was actually on C-O-C-K, a 45 at that. So people, I don't know if the poor poor saved this man, or I don't know if him get bummy when him see the poor poor, 
and somehow he might try to move it and pull back the trigger or pull back the hammer. And people, he was lucky that these Popo were very careful when they were taking this tool from out time brief or boxer. Because people, one mistake, one press of the trigger, the COCK would have gone point blank and period. So anyways people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.